particularly a ringed percussion instrument on which may be little symbols like a tambourine. By this, something you may never imagine, the devil is linked to the tambourine. Culture changes like the wind. Back when food was more scarce, the ideal woman in people's minds was a heavy woman. When food was plenty, models became anemic, like skin and bones. In some tribes in Africa, the woman put plates in their, in their mouth to make these giant lips because that's considered hot there. At one time in America, it was cool to put grease in your hair. You know, in the 1960s and 70s, wearing bell bottoms were cool. Some of you were wearing them. And you thought it looked so cool, now you'd say, what was I thinking? When you were in high school, there was often an in crowd, and you had different versions of the flute and the dirges. There were ways that you were, this is cool, this is not cool. Happens in church culture. Some churches you're expected to jump up and down when you worship. If you don't, you don't have the spirit. You go to other churches, you jump up and down, and security will wrestle you to the ground. <laughs> and the church organist will backslide. It's just flutes and dirges. First church I went to, I'm not going to go through the story, you may, many of you have an idea, pretty much they had us on our knees at the end. They said, get on your knees, and they started hitting us on the head. <laughs> Receive. That's what they did, and to them this was normal. We are free to worship however we will. our heart leads us in God. As God leads our heart, you are free to worship, as long as it's, it's not unbiblical. But don't make a doctrine out of culture. Don't mistake doctrine or God's truth for culture. Even if it's the culture of a church, believers will also follow the flutes and the dirges and think it's holy in church culture. Every culture has its pipers. The, the pipers of universities, of professors, of the elite, the quote elite of Hollywood, of the music industry, of wokeness, and people just dance to it. Years ago, if someone had dark skin, they, can, they, they looked down on them, considered them inferior. Now, if you say you have light skin, you're guilty. It is all nothing. God does not look at the outward appearance. God looks at the heart. We are one because of the Spirit. A while back, we're not living in the flesh. A while back, the pipers were saying, this is right and that's wrong. Now they're saying, this is wrong and that's right. And the majority go along with it, even though it was the opposite a few, a few days ago. The Piper said, now there are, there are not two genders. Did you realize that? It's not male and female anymore. There are 78 genders. <laughs> or no genders at all. And the masses go, okay, we can't say this, we can't say that. It's madness. The Pipers are mad. The scientist Pavlov did experiments with dogs, famous. He rang a bell when he gave him a treat. Then he just rang a bell with no treat and they salivated. It's pretty much common sense that that would happen, but they became, became known as Pavlov's dogs or a Pavlovian reaction. It's a trigger, you react. The flute plays, you dance. If someone is in a talk show audience and you know, they're having the, 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 the mic in the audience and people, and someone says, you know what, they says, you know, marriage is only for man and woman and I mean, sexual relations are within marriage. You can already sense that the people are gonna get ready to boo. You can feel it inside you. And you can hear the moo booing in your mind so people who aren't strong or they just go along, they will start just doing it because it's already there. They know people do it. Same time, if you know you say a certain truth that wasn't even an issue years ago, you can hear the resistance in your mind. You can already hear it, the threat of being censored, outrageous, and so you might self-center yourself. You keep quiet, you are reacting to the piper. Pavlovian reaction. The ancient pagan god Pan was part man, part goat in the mythology, and one of the pagan gods of the, of the Greek uh, Roman world. And he would seduce people, he would allure them, trigger their emotions, as in the name, we get the word panic from pan. He would make them panic. He was known to play the flute that would allure others. Thus we have, we, we have something we call pan's pipes. He was the piper of that. And then there's the enemy. Then there is the devil. Ezekiel 28. Actually, you can turn to it if you have your Bibles and you're able to turn to it at this time. Ezekiel 28 is a prophecy about the king of Tyre, an enemy of Israel. But ultimately, it's going much farther than that. It's speaking to the principality behind him, which is the enemy. It says this, Ezekiel 28, verse 13. You were in Eden, the garden of God. That's clearly not the king of Tyre. That's clearly something much deeper. That's the enemy. 
Every precious stone was your covering, the ruby, topaz, diamond, the beryl, onyx, and, and onyx, and jasper, the lapis, luzuli, the turquoise, the emerald, the gold, the workmanship of your settings and sockets was in you on the day you were created, they were prepared. Now you go on, this is clearly about the enemy and the fall of that. Now I want to show you something pretty amazing you would never see in most English translations of the Bible, but it's there in the Hebrew. It says in most English translations something like this, your settings and your mountings, or your settings and your sockets, and that is taken in, mo in many translations to be about jewelry, as it spoke about precious stones. But the word settings in Hebrew, the word is tof, tof. Now, and, and, and do you know what it's translated? You know, that same word appears in the Hebrew throughout the Bible, and you know what it's translated as overwhelmingly? It means tambourine, or cymbal, or timbrel, or tabret. It is a musical instrument, talking about the enemy, and particularly a ringed percussion instrument on which may be little cymbals like a tambourine. By this, something you may never imagine, the devil is linked to the tambourine. Now, now don't put away your tambourines. But it would be reveal something, the enemy is a musician. He uses music. Why? Because music is of God to praise God. He wants to use it for himself. And music is also powerful, it can manipulate, it can trigger. That's why movies are filled with music to, to trigger your emotions as the flute of a piper. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.